So this is GCSC required practical number nine, investigating the refraction and the reflection of light. So we'll look at refraction to start with, and I've zoomed us in onto the actual piece of paper we'll be working on just to give a, a real level of clarity to this. So we're looking at refraction. First thing you do is you take a perspex or glass block and draw carefully around the outside with a sharp pencil. like so, and then take that away just for a moment and you want to draw a, what's called a normal line to one edge here. So place a marker approximately the centre of that side. Using a protractor draw a line at 90 degrees to that point. And that is the normal line, and that's a really important line when we come to any optical work. Replace the block within the rectangle that you drew before, making sure that you get this as accurately positioned as possible. Great. Then, take your ray box and shine a ray of light such that it is incident on the edge of the, of the paper where you've just drawn that line there. Let me just turn the lights down. And now we can mark the positions of the refracted ray. So we've got the incident ray coming in from this side I'm going to mark the centre of the ray there, and it's hitting the block where we've drawn the normal line. And I'm going to draw on the refracted ray here, but I need to mark it in two places so that I can later on join those with the ruler. Just going to label those one here and one here, so that we can recognise them later on. Now I'm going to move the ray around to the second position. like so, again hitting this position on the side of the block like that. I'm going to mark it here and label it to 2 and then mark the centre of the ray in two places carefully here and here and label that 2 as well. Now we're done with the ray box for the time being, so let's take that away and remove the block. And we can set about drawing some construction lines for, for the rays. So there we have ray 1, instant ray. And that is going to come through, sorry I didn't label that number 2, refracted But inside, it must have travelled in a straight line, so we can just join up those two lines there. And you should always put the direction in which the ray is travelling. Ray number two. There. It emerges from the block. Over here, and inside it travels like that, and let's just put the directions on there, like that. Okay, so the final part of this practical is for us to measure the angles of refraction and incidence. The first angle that we're interested in is the angle of incidence for ray 1, which is that angle there, and the angle of refraction, which is that angle there. You always measure to the normal line, which is the very first line we added on. I'll show you that. 
So we need to find the angle between those two. Made life a little bit difficult for myself. So get that there. That is 30 degrees. So I'm going to write that in here. And the angle of refraction, I'm going to have to do this this way round. Sorry, no, this way round. I'm going to make that 20 degrees. Very slightly more, 20 degrees. Okay, and now we'll repeat the same for the second angle, but again, you must measure it to the normal. So it's this angle here, and this angle here. Let's measure those. Forty-six degrees. And I've got thirty degrees. And now we're going to look at the reflection of light. The first thing we need to do is to draw a line on the paper and that will give us the position that our mirror is going to sit in. Somewhere near the centre, mark a point and that will be where we draw the normal line at 90 degrees to the mirror itself. So use a protractor and a sharp pencil, draw that as carefully as you can. And that is the normal line. We then position the mirror so that it sits along that line. Like so. Now we bring in the ray box and turn that on and we want to position the ray so that it hits the central point where we've crossed the mirror with that normal line. Can we turn the lights on? And now we can measure the angle of incidence for the, the ray coming and hitting the mirror and then the angle of reflection from that reflected ray. Now to do so we align the ray up with the central point here where we marked the normal line on and we put a small line here at the centre of the beam. And then on this side we put a small line at the centre of the reflected ray. We then move this round to a new position. Again making sure that the ray is instant upon the point we've marked with the normal line. And we mark the centre of that ray here. And then we mark the centre of the reflected ray, thus. And now we can remove the ray box and put the mirror to one side. We then construct the rays using a ruler because we know that light travels in a straight line. So that was reflected ray one. That was reflected ray 2. Incident ray 2. Incident ray 1. Now we need to measure some of these angles. I make that 37 degrees the incident angle. I 
and I make that 36 degrees for the reflected angle. For the second one, it is this angle here and this angle here that we're measuring this time. So here we have an angle of 21 degrees and the reflected angle this time from the mirror is 21 degrees. <laughs> 